Alpha. Majority of the work yesterday was using a faller buncher to take out some fire weekend snags along the 80 road. They made good progress yesterday. Uh, crews continued to patrol and monitor and look for any smokes that potentially threatened structures. They did see some activity on the north end on the Forest Service 408 road. They put a crew in there and actually checked some spots. And we also saw activity along the western side, along the wilderness, of no concern. Moving over to Gulf, the fire was making a way down, backing into the 498 road. They decided that in order to secure the road and hold it, they had to burn off a couple compartments that were pre-prepped north of 498. The winds carried perfectly and everything carried back into the fire. And it's looking very good at the end of shift last night. They also had some fire that was backing its way down the slope above structures south of drop point eight, which is the intersection of the 798, where it turns into 498, basically. They used helicopters with buckets and internal takes to check some of the line there, control its backing down, to keep it from heating up and threatening the structures. Rolling over into the Parsons Draw area in Division Papa, they evaluated some hand lines that were around structures and tried to get a handle on where all of those were and also utilized the dozer to do repair work on some existing dozer lines. The dozer is done with most of its work there and started to move over into Sierra, which is part of the combined division. In Sierra, they kept an eye on some heat that was up the slope and up the drainage from the 9-9 structure. Uh, they did late in the day see some slope and wind line up and some unburned pockets further up on the slope. There were no concerning security issues with the line. They saw those torch out and actually rolled, rolled some smoke into camp. Rolling over into Tango, Uniform, and Whiskey, didn't see a whole lot of fire activity until late in the day. Same thing, some stringers heated up and had some isolated pockets blow out. But again, nothing that threatened the security of the line. The majority of work being done is on the 35 road. There's a bunch of existing dozer line that had been pushed that they're trying to pull back with an excavator. They made about four tenths of a mile further progress on that today. And that's basically what happened yesterday.